Welcome to Module 6, Job Search Strategies. When you're getting ready to do your job search, first thing you need to do is know a little bit, of, know about yourself and be prepared to talk about the following to employers. Understand how your education has prepared you for the job. Think about the experience you've had and then identify your skills and abilities, your interests, your values and goals and be ready to talk about those in an interview. Know the job market. What types of jobs are you looking for? What type of employer are you interested in? What geographical location? What type of setting? <clears throat> Employers know what they're looking for from candidates. They want somebody with a strong academic skills, which is usually a 3.0 GPA and higher, excellent communication skills, critical thinking, adaptability and flexibility, self-discipline, leadership, team orientation, computer skills, experience, people that are goal-oriented, and someone who's knowledgeable about their company. So how do employers find new hires? They use a lot of different methods to recruit. They'll use internships and co-op programs. They contact faculty members, asking them for referrals. They'll interact with student clubs on campus. Now more, more and more employers are using temp agencies, uh, hiring people as a temp first and then hiring them full time after they've tried them out. The Career Center, you, you have Career Services, for example. A lot of employers will recruit through us. Job fairs, online job postings, and then internet search engines. So let's take a look at UNF Career Services, the things we do for employers to bring them on campus. First thing we do, uh, we have Career Wings, which is an online job posting system. Uh, it's available 24-7. Employers create a profile and can post jobs uh, and internships, and students can apply directly. They can also set up on-campus recruiting interviews through this, and they can also register for our upcoming job, job fairs. A lot of employers like to do information sessions where they come and use one of our rooms and they do a presentation about their organization and it gives them an opportunity to meet with students and give out information. Information tables are usually down at the Student Union Plaza and employers are there to meet with students kind of as they walk by. A lot of, a lot of uh, employers will set up on-campus interviews uh, where they actually have specific job openings and they will schedule interviews using our interview rooms here. We do a number of job fairs throughout the year. Uh, we have at least uh, eight or nine major career fairs every year where we bring employers on campus. Uh, they set up at booths and give out information and collect resumes. Your goal should always be to give them a copy of your resume and to get a business card in return. And then follow up, follow up, follow up is the key to making a job fair work. As you can see, it can be pretty hectic. So you wanna have a plan of action. You wanna do your research, know which companies you wanna go after and just systematically go about and contact them. And again, follow up is the key. Remember to dress professionally it makes a huge difference when you're dressed professionally, when you're interacting with employers, both at career fairs and when you're networking for your job search. Internet job postings, they say that 14% of people get their jobs by responding to job postings. So it's kind of a low percentage, but it's definitely a way to get a job. So Career Builder, Job Web, Monster, and some of the other ones Definitely worth a look, but remember that you're competing with thousands and thousands of other candidates when you're applying in this system. So like I said, it is kind of low percentage. So let's look at the nuts and bolts of a job search. It starts with maintaining and keeping records. I think this is an important part of a job search so that you keep track of who you're sending stuff to and when you need to follow up. Manage your time. You need to invest a good amount of time in your job search. They say that it could take anywhere from three to 12 months of full-time job searching to find the job related to your career goal. Time adds up, so take a look at this. 
say Monday through Thursday, uh, it's four days, you make three contacts a day, whether you call somebody, send them a letter, or interview. You can see that's a total of 12 contacts that week. If you do that for an entire month, that's 48 contacts in a month. And if you do that over a six month period, you can see that's 288 contacts that you've made in a six month period, which is pretty good. And uh, your, your chances of finding a position are great if you kind of keep up that sort of contact. The problem is most people don't maintain this kind of, uh, uh, num these kind of numbers. They'll wake up one day, instead of three, they'll make one. Next day, they won't do any. So instead of 12 in a week, they do two. Instead of 48 in a month, they do 10. So these numbers all go down. And so what happens is the job search just extends for a longer period of time. So you want to try and get your contacts in. Plus, weekends off. All right, so this is a great approach for job searching. So in addition to looking at job postings, you want to do the direct approach. They say that 33% of job seekers get their jobs by applying directly to companies. So here's how it works. You start out making a list of the employers in your target area, and then you get the name of the hiring person and their title and address. So let's take a look at this sample idea. We're thinking about advertising agencies in Jacksonville. So we draw a circle around how far we're willing to go. The beach, up north to Yulee, down to Green Cove Springs, over to Baldwin. So that's our target area. So we make a list of all the potential employers. We use the Jacksonville Business Journal Book of Lists. You can see that it lists all the advertising and marketing agencies in the Jacksonville area. From there, we can look up their websites and get more information about who the hiring person is uh, that we need. There are also directories like this. This is the vault guide to advertising employers. Another simple way is just to Google it. We Googled advertising agencies in Jacksonville, gave us this little map with all the advertising agencies with a link to their website. So a great way to get uh, a list of potential employers. So the direct approach, you start with sending your resume and cover letter to the hiring person. Allow a week to 10 days, then follow up with a phone call and see if you can get an interview. Keep records because they might not be interested in you now and you can ask them, is it okay if I call you back in six to eight weeks? And then six or eight weeks later, call them back and just keep calling them like that because you never know when it's going to happen where they have an opening. 33% of people get their jobs through direct approach. Another 33% get their jobs through someone they know, what's called the hidden job market or through networking. So this is kind of the same concept as applying directly, but now you're using, you're going through someone that you know. This would include family, friends, uh, acquaintances, faculty and administrators, staff members, supervisors, coworkers, and professional associations. Professional associations are ready-made networks of professionals. Um, they have conferences where you can network. They have newsletters, publications. They even have job postings. Um, and they have membership directories. So it's a great way to build your network very quickly. Here's an example. The American Advertising Federation. You can see they have information about memberships. They'll have event information. And here they have a job bank. So very typical of most uh, professional associations. They have a lot of great resources that can help you. Don't forget to use social media in your job search. LinkedIn is kind of the uh, networking tool now for job searching. Facebook is used somewhat. You just want to protect yourself there and make sure that you keep it private or make sure that anything that's showing public is professional looking. And if you tweet, be sure to tweet professionally. Um, but social media is definitely up and coming in job search. Use it properly. Make sure that what you're showing is professional.